Greetings and salutations. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is going to be a video that's going to show you how to download package files from the repositories without installing them. I got a comment this morning. Somebody asked me how to do this and I thought this would make a really cool video and it's actually quite easy to do. Now the reasons why you would want to do this, maybe you have a slow internet connection, you'd like to take a whole list of packages, have the system download them, put them in a directory and then you will install them later or it could be that you want some packages for another system and you don't want to have to go through searching for those packages on that other system you just want to be able to just install them this is how you would do that okay this is also very useful when working with uh, Google Chrome stable if you want to install Google Chrome on several machines you don't have to go into the web browser on each machine download the file from Google you can go to a machine that already has Chrome installed you can download the package put that package on a USB stick or whatever and take it from machine to machine and install it that way so there's all kinds of uses for this so let's get into actually doing it so the first thing that we need to do is figure out where we're going to store our packages and in this case I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call it packages and it's going to live in my home folder so the folder is created so let's get we'll switch into it and we're in that folder and just to make sure there's nothing in it because it's new alright so I use the ls command to do that now let's go ahead and download a couple of packages so that we can have something to work with here the command to do that would be apt get download and let's get a couple of small packages htop very tiny package we'll get Geary which is a mail package and uh, that's about it okay we'll get those two and we will turn it loose now you've noticed that I did not use administrator privileges to do this I'm doing this as myself and there's a reason for that if I did use administrator privileges the files that would be created when I downloaded these packages would be the property of the root user and I wouldn't be able to move them around or do a whole lot with them if I own the files then I have total control over them when you go to install these packages you will be installing as the root user so therefore it doesn't matter because root pays no attention to the actual permissions on the package and this way I can move them around and delete them and do all kinds of stuff with them okay so we have our packages downloaded and just to show that we'll run an LS and as you can see there they are they are in here when I would go to install these packages I had a, I would have a couple of choices if I was going to be doing it from a GUI environment like we're at now then the tool that I would use would be GDebbie and it's real simple to get to my packages I will open up the file manager in this case since this is Linux Mint it's Nemo find the packages folder we created and we'll zoom in a little bit here there are your packages they're in here and they're safe so if we wanted to install htop in Linux Mint just double click on it and it will automatically open up GDebby which is the deb package installer GDebby is available for all Linux distributions that use deb packages to install so this would be Debian Ubuntu any derivative of Ubuntu and unfortunately the Ubuntu developers decided not to package GDebby by default so if you click on a deb package it will open up the software center to install it that works most of the time but GDeb is a lot smaller and works a lot easier so if you're running Ubuntu and you plan to be doing this sort of thing all the time I would definitely suggest ins installing GDeb alright so now that we have clicked on it, it you can see that we can download the latest package but it's already the latest and we can also install or remove the package 
it's already installed so it's offering to remove if this was an older version of this it would definitely want you to go get an update and it would um, probably I don't know I don't think it would force you to do it but it would definitely suggest get the latest version if you install the older version unless you went in and created an exception in the update system then it would be updated anyway um, so there you go so that's one way to do that but what if you're working in a situation which does happen on occasion where you do not have access to the GUI environment you don't have a desktop what command would I use to install these packages and the command that you would use would be dpkg so I'm gonna show you what that command looks like sudo dpkg and we're given an I I dummy I <laughs> can't type and think and talk at the same time anyway and then we would get our package and put it here and it, just to make it easier I'm actually going to just copy this okay and we'll paste it here and if I would hit enter it would ask for my um, password and then it would go ahead and install the package and it will go out and get the dependencies for the packages so this is not a solution to be able to install software on your system if you don't have an internet connection because it's still going to have to go get those dependencies so to be able to do that what you would have to do is know what all of the dependencies were for whatever programs you were trying to install this way and then you would add them on to the end of this install so it would just copy and paste the whole list at the end here and then it would install everything and it wouldn't have to go look for dependencies so you do still have to have an internet connection hooked up to the machine okay now if you find yourself in a terminal and you do not have access to a GUI environment but yet you have to go get a downloadable package of any kind it doesn't matter what it is if you need to download a file off the internet how do you do it well the program that you use is called wget and I'm not gonna run that because I don't have a URL anywhere to go get a file for you it's a uh, you know I'm just gonna give you an introduction to it here so uh, to find out more about wget you can look at the manual page and it, this will tell you everything that you need to know about it and all the different things but it's really quite simple okay this is a, a, a typical command line here wget and it's gonna keep trying to get that package if you put that in there if you just put the the name of the file that you're trying to download there then it, it'll just try and go get it once okay so you can go through here and look at how to structure this command to get it to do what you want to do and it's actually quite useful especially when you're working from a command line and you just need to jump out and get a dev package off of a website or if you're building software and from source code you need to go get the tarball to do that now many of the people who watch my videos are not doing those sorts of things but if you ever get to the point where you are wget is going to be your friend alright so we have learned how to download packages put them in a folder and then use either GUI tools or command line tools to install them it's just a little something that's another feather that you can put in your cap as you learn more about Linux. Thanks for watching the video, gang. I certainly do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out EasyLinux.com if you'd like me to help you get started with Linux. And also check out FreedomPenguin.com, and you can read my articles there. And that those links will be in the description below. So I love to hear your comments and suggestions as well. Thanks for watching.